Uh, we're looking at factorization still. This time we're looking at the difference of two squares. Now we'll think of difference of two squares. We'll use the acronym DOTS for short, D-O-T-S. So we're going to look at the factorization of DOTS, difference of two squares. Now difference of two squares means uh, a number. Uh, we'll just call it A squared. That's one square number minus another square number. So A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B in brackets times A minus B in brackets. Now this thing's really important. This is what the difference of two squares is all about. A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B bracket times A minus B. Uh, you'll see this in action uh, in our first example here. So we have x squared minus 9. This is a difference of two squares or dots for short. Okay, so here we have a dots example, difference of two squares. We have x squared, which is a square number, and we have 9, which is a square number. And we have this different sign, this negative sign here. So, a squared, that's our a squared, minus b squared, minus the square number, is equal to a, which is just x in this case, plus b. Now, the square root of this number is 3. And then we do all of that again, but instead of a plus, we use a minus. Okay, now this thing we, we've just done is called an expansion pattern. Uh, it's a pattern of expanding or a pattern of factorizing bracket, um, sorry, terms. So uh, we'll move on to another one so you can start to see a pattern starting to emerge as we do them. Okay, here's another example here, 4x squared minus 25. Now, again, this is a square number. Now, ask yourself, what times what makes 4x squared? That'll be the square root of this. So, 2 times 2 will make 4, and x squared, we need x. Uh, now, that means that 2x times 2x will make 4x squared. And I'm going to add whatever the square root of this number is, which is 5. And then I just repeat that, but instead of a plus, I put a minus. So in both of these cases, I've factorized the difference of two squares, difference of two squares, difference of two squares, into this nice, neat pattern, 2x plus 5, bracket 2x minus 5, or x plus 3, x minus 3. Uh, and we can just continue on with these kinds of questions. 3x squared minus 12. Now, this one's a little more complicated. Uh, you'll see that it's a two-stepper. I'll just give myself a little more space here. I'll just rewrite it. 3x squared minus 12 equals. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is look at these and realize that there's a common factor here. And that common factor is 3. So now I have 3 bracket x squared minus 4. You've seen that in a previous video. But now look at what's happened inside the brackets. We have this dots pattern that we talked about earlier. x squared minus 4. It's a square number subtracted, uh, sub and then subtracted from that is another square number. Which means that I can expand it using this, this pattern here. Oh, sorry, I can factorize it using that pattern which I'll do right now. So the 3 still remains on the outside, but this part here that I've underlined in purple will become x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so you should start getting a feel for what's happened there. There was a two-step process. First, I found a common factor by taking it outside, and then I looked inside the new bracket that I'd made and realized that there was a difference of two squares there. Now, uh, let's see if we've got any more examples we can do. Okay, uh, I just need to get rid of some stuff so we can see what's going on. Yep, I'll get rid of that. Okay, this one is another example. Uh, now, it's a bit tricky. It doesn't look like a difference of two squares right away, uh, but watch what happens when I rewrite it. We've got a positive 9x squared. Oops. 
we've got a positive 9x squared and then we've got a negative 16. Okay, that's much better. Now we have a difference of two squares. I haven't done anything. I've just rewritten it so that one term was on the other side of the other one. Okay, this is a square number. The square root of that is 3x. This is a square number. The square root of it is 4. And again, I can expand that. I'm oh, sorry, I can repeat that bracket, but instead of a positive, it's going to be a negative. Okay, let's take a look at everything we've done now. Um, I'll just rewrite that so you can see it a little better. Now, I'm really into checking my answers here because I really want to make sure that whatever I've done, it works, it makes sense. So you can do that by using your FOIL method. So I'm just going to check my work. So this isn't necessary for the exam, but it is necessary if you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing all the time. So this was the answer I got. So if I expand it using the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last, I get that, x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 9. You can see that these middle bits cancel each other out, and you end up with x squared minus 9. So that's what I started with. I factorized it and I got that. Now I'm just checking it in yellow there. Uh, and that works for all of these. I can check this one if I want to. 2x times 2x makes 4x squared. Uh, first, outer, 2x times 5 makes 10x. Uh, inner, 5 times 2x makes 10x. Ah, sorry, makes that first one should be negative. Oops. Try that. That first one should be negative, and the last one, negative 25. Those cancel each other out, and we end up with 4x squared minus 25. So you can check all of your work as you go with these difference of two squares questions. Um, I might just write down one, and you can give it a try yourself, and then I'll just silently work through it so you can see if you get the right answer. Uh, so there's my question there, 36x squared minus 49. Uh, give it a try yourself. Okay, so 36x squared, that's a square number, that's going to be 6x. That's a square number, it's going to be 7. And then I repeat my bracket. Okay, there's a real pattern to it. And at first, as you're watching me do it, it might look really, really simple. But as with most of these things, you need to give it a try yourself. You need to see how it's going. And then in class, talk to me as soon as you start getting them wrong so we can start seeing how we can fix it up. All right, thanks guys, that's the difference of two squares, the dots method of factorization.